Hi, this is Chef Colleen with Jingerbs.com and today we're going to make our strong bone tonic. Now this is a great recipe for anyone who feels a little jing deficient. It's great for athletes, it's great for people who are concerned about their bone structure and the bone health, people who are aging and maybe a little more frail in their skeletal structure. It's really easy to make and it's delicious. You can make this drink hot or cold. So if you live in a cold temperature climate, um, it's easy to just heat up your base, heat up the nut milk and make a nice warm cozy drink or you can do it just room temperature or cold. So it's really versatile and, and we're gonna start right now. So I'm starting with about 12 ounces of unsweetened coconut milk. You can use any nut milk that you like I like coconut milk because it's really creamy. It also has vitamins and minerals, particularly magnesium, um, things that are also support the bone health and the structure in the body. First, I'm gonna add two teaspoons of black sesame seeds. Now, black sesame seeds are really powerful kidney tonic, actually. If you think about sesame seeds, they're tiny little seeds, but they create a big plant. And so that all that energy, all that creative potential is in a tiny little seed that makes them a very potent tonic. And then the, the black color of it, black of course, is associated with the kidney adrenal energy. So anytime you can add black foods, you're gonna be supporting that kidney adrenal system. So I'm gonna add that in there. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of cashews. And now the cashews make this nice and creamy. Um, the nuts blend up really nicely like that. But also cashews have a lot of magnesium and copper, which supports uh, the production of collagen and elastin. And the magnesium helps also support the, the growth of the, the bone and the healthy bones in the body. Now we get to our featured herbs. The first herb is eucomia. Eucomia is a mild young tonic. Um, this is about a half a teaspoon that I'm adding. And uh, eucomia supports the, tonifies the kidney and the liver. It's just, it's a mild herb, so it's not gonna throw this formula too out of balance. And actually the Chinese name for eucomia translates as bone mender, which is amazing because we're going to use this as our bone building formula. It supports the, the bones, the ligaments, the tendons of the body. It adds elasticity and flexibility. Um, so it's a really great tonic for people who want to support that part of their body. Next I'm going to add another mild yang tonic is Mirinda. Mirinda again is safe for everyone to take. It's a mild yang tonic so it's not too fiery. It supports the bones, the structure of the body. Um, it also tonifies the kidney yang energy. And um, it's an important part of this recipe of why it helps our bone strength. Next, I'm gonna add about a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Now cinnamon, you might not know, actually prevents, helps prevent bone loss. It helps reduce uh, the loss of, of bone breakdown and prevents osteoporotic bone loss. Then I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of vanilla powder also, mostly for the flavor. Okay, now I'm going to sweeten this tonic with two medjool dates with the pits removed. You can sweeten it with whatever you like. If you don't like sugar, you can use stevia or you can use honey. But I like using the whole food sweeteners. It's a really healthy natural sweetener because it has the fiber and the minerals intact. And so I'm just going to use two dates in there. And now I'm going to blend it up. Okay, so I went, gave it a good blend because I wanted to break up all those little sesame seeds to crack through the shell and make sure they're really well blended. Now see, you have a really nice creamy drink. It looks so nourishing. Mm. It's creamy and delicious, really easy to make. All the ingredients support bone health. This is an excellent strong bone tonic and I hope you try it at home. If you have any questions about this recipe or any of the products at jingerbs.com, send an email to info at jingerbs.com. And if you want to see how your three treasures are doing, go to jingerbsanalysis.com. And until next time, be well.